Muscle car is one of the American icons that is most seek after in other parts of the world. When we hear the term muscle car, what strikes in our mind is a 70s classic design car with round headlamps. Yet undeniably that is most preferred design than most of the present day designs. Along with the improvement in the automobile industry, the design of the muscle cars too modified in order to keep top in the sales competition. But there is this one thing that has not gone far from its original look and still keeps top in the competition. That is the Dodge Challenger. It is the only muscle car available today, though its rivals keep claiming to be muscle car. We'll discuss more about the Challenger in detail. Hello everyone. Welcome to Motor Max. We do videos about automobiles, its features, its capabilities, technologies used in it and many more. If you are an automobile fan and have not subscribed to our channel, then tap the subscribe button and enable notifications to be tuned with our latest videos. Also share the channel with your friends and family members for them to benefit. Dodge has always been known for its performance cars and have never disappointed car admirers. Dodge Challenger stands out in the crowd with its 70s look, no wonder why most of us like it. It's the third generation Challenger that is available presently which started production in 2008. Dodge Challenger comes in several trim levels, we are going to look at the highest variant, that is the Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. That would ride us to hell, may the reason why previous version was named the Demon. This 5-seater two-door rear-wheel drive coupe is equipped with a 6.2-liter supercharged V8 engine and 8-speed automatic transmission. The supercharged V8 produces a maximum of 797 horsepower at 6,300 rpm, and 707 pound-feet of torque at 4,500 rpm which could launch the modern-day Demon from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and that could reach a top speed of 199 miles per hour. That makes Challenger the fastest GT production car. But this wouldn't take you lead in a track, where it takes 11.2 seconds to cross quarter miles, meanwhile the Porsche 918 Spyder crosses quarter miles in just 9.7 seconds, the fastest car to do so. We know that comparison is not a fair deal. So. Most car experts claim that 11.2 seconds is acceptable for a 4 a half thousand pound monster. The 2015 Challenger Hellcat has a Nürburgring lap record of 7 minutes and 51 seconds, that has not been confirmed by Dodge and the driver is also unknown. Other than this unverified news there is no official lap records available for the Dodge Challenger. It has a fuel capacity of 18.5 gallons and that is not justifiable for a vehicle with a city fuel economy of 13 miles per gallon and a highway economy of 22 miles per gallon. Still there are lower economic cars with even smaller tanks. That cannot be an excuse though. Let us now look at the dimensions. The wheelbase, 116.2 inches, overall length, 197.5 inches, width, 79.2 inches, ground clearance is 4.5 inches, and this has 20 inches wheel with 11 inches cross section and made with forged aluminum. Curb to curb turning diameter is 38.7 foot, that's quite a big circle for a city commuting road car. This is still a legal road car though it is not being designed for road. So, we hope to mention the fact here. Everything looks perfect in this muscle car, but what we think missing is a hand brake lever. The question is does it really being missed by racing professionals? Let us know your opinion in the comments. It's really a demon and it has a nice road presence from the front. Its demonic face will surely make us stare at it more than once but rear design seems a bit mismatching to its front. Anyway, this is still a muscle car, unlike its rivals it has not moved out of its originality and that's why this is loved by so many. The interior is not much less to its exterior, it is finished with soft touch materials throughout. 
What's more impressive is the price tag. We can get the highest specs car for less than a hundred thousand dollars. That is way more cheaper than most of the supercars out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, like this video, share the video and mention your opinion about the video in the comments. Thank you.